Welcome all to the rampaging continent. A world filled with fascinating creatures and things beyond the imagination of kids. Within this world, there are many different things that cause chaos and destruction. And nothing to contain that type of power. And with that comes to a dealing of retribution from the people that have been a victim towards this chaos. From that, one of the main creatures of this realm, a drachnoid creature that rages a, fi a fiery passion, goes out towards its home within the said rampaging continents each and every year. But now it's time for it to stop. Time for it to back away. As now, we have a solution. Hunters. Monster hunters. We start off onto a, pa a basic fishing boat. Nothing too extravagant at first, but Something to at least get our, our fellow people to the shores safely without attracting any monsters' attentions. While flying fish go off to the side, following the ship as it goes. However, with the flying fish, comes out one of our first monster hunters. Blue, introduce your character. Wait, so she's swimming? Yes. Okay. Then why else? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. So... Um, you would see a tall lady with uh, long white hair, or very light gray hair, I suppose. Um, though she has a bit of webbing between her fingers, and uh, almost fish fins instead of ears. She looks mostly humanoid. Okay. Um, as for clothes, she wears... Mostly shades of blue, because, you know, fish. Um, and... Yeah, I don't, I don't think she really does anything if she's, if she's just swimming. <laughs> no worries. Um, we pan off to another side of the ship, where on top, uh, perched up, in a kind of weirdly self-made nest comes our next character, Zinc. All right, so in this little makeshift nest, you see a, uh, I mean, she might not be very small, but she is certainly trying to make herself small, a quite awkward looking uh, scholar type with the, uh, with feathers in her hair and uh, sort of a high collared little cape that she's hiding behind. All right, all right. I'm panning from the top of the fishing boat. We go towards the bow, which we see our two other characters. A very stout man, Iggy. Uh, yeah. He is a stout, sturdy, built of a, um, what are they called, Trovarians? Trovarians, oh, well. yeah. Trovarians. And with a hefty beard, middle-aged, seems to be middle-aged, and yeah, it looks like he has a lot of equipment on him at the time being, working at his weapons. And to the next of them, a Wyvarian, very stout long and stout very regal to the look but surprisingly not as regal as most as a lot of the fashion sense is well take it away tank uh well the fashion sense is kind of like bright like a bright blue uh purplish she looks she looks like she she's not middle-aged but she's a bit younger um, but she looks a little experienced, uh, but still, like, like, not a veteran, but just, like, maybe new in the field still. 
Hmm. I see. Okay. But out of a lot of chaos of what you see from the shores, a creature swims underneath the ship, in which case breaches out of the water, making a big show. Baka, introduce your character. All right, you hear like a, you know, the fucking whale shit. <laughs> right. You basically see like a fucking blue whale, but has like arms. It looks like he was doggy paddling, but now he's breached. He's just doing this weird level fucking retard movements with his hands, you know? And, and then he crashes back in the water. Very well, very well. <laughs> <laughs> From there, um, you hear. I. We are almost to the shore of the coasts. Are you sure you're going to want to do this? I mean, ask, he's the talking water. to the two people. He's yeah. talking to the two people oh. in the bow. He's not. He's not noticing the other three that are either swimming or making their nest. Okay. <laughs> Of course. Otherwise, why why would I get on? I've already prepared myself. A job's a job. Someone must get it done. Oh, I, I see. And I the see. pay is good. I see, I see. Well, if you ever need me, I'll be able to help transport some rations to your camp up ahead. Speaking of which, I got some instructions from the High Count. As they, he kind of pulls out like this formal letter out of his rugged rags of clothing. Ah. Pulls out some glasses from his other pocket, licks his lips, and tries to look very closely at it, and goes, Fellow hunters. It seems as though that you are all well on your way to hunting the unknown draconoid creature. If you head north from the shores, you should be able to make it to head camp. From there, you should be also expecting six individuals. Be on the lookout for any monsters, if any would be on the coasts. Good luck. Yeah, that's a bit of rubbish, if you ask me. Frozen into the water. What? <laughs> Just do your best. That's all I can say. All of us on the no on our normal continents, other than this one, count on you. And from there he goes. What? Lan! Oh! As he runs back to the wheel of the ship, and you guys see the rocks kind of coming up. And from there, the ones in the water, I would say that you guys probably get onto land first. Most likely, yeah. I mean, uh, Leonardo would just, uh, yeah, just walk up onto the land. Baka? And you notice she's been swimming in normal clothing. She just looks drenched now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was asking, were you getting out of the water? Oh, yeah. Okay. And from there, um, we have um, the ship finally park, and everyone else gets off. Um, I need any of you who is willing to do so, make a perception check. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me just check. Did I pick proficiency in that? I did not. Oh well. For proficiency, is, is that a uh, plus two, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so, hang on. 13 perception, 12 perception. Oh, let me turn that off. Oh, you guys made characters in Roll20- I'm so dumb. <laughs> I haven't done that, so I just have to type it in my work. work. I got a 20. If you ever played D&D, &D, just nice. treat it like base D&D &D for right now, until we actually into combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can be just- oh, But I think I- 
She means the like the website because oh, the two of us, usually, the two of us um, usually play uh, in real life. Yeah, fair enough. Over okay. People. Well, if you're on level 20, if you actually look to the left side of the screen at the very top, there's a bar. And if you go down to the very bottom, there's a dice uh, roller you can just use. Yeah, and then it's kind of self-explanatory. Yes. Like, the dice you Why use, the number you can... Yeah. It's slash roll. So, yeah. There we go. There eight. it goes. Uh, eight. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, if you ever want to roll like a custom die or something, you could do slash roll and then whatever the die you want to roll. And it could be literally any number from what we've seen before. Like, I think we could do like 10,000, a million. Yeah. It's pretty fun. And it didn't crash it. You didn't crash it? No? Yeah. yeah. It crashes on the and Beyond. Oh yeah. Oh, did I, uh, did I do it? slash roll and then space slash and then... Slash roll, mm -hmm. okay. I just got R as well. Yeah. I did it wrong. Slash, <laughs> wait, slash R. Mm -hmm. slash, slash R space think... D20 plus 2. Yeah. D20 plus 2. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping me. No, you're good. You're good. If anything, uh, like you, I myself had to go from tabletop, actual tabletop to online. But I had to make that transition, I think, back in like 2020, 2021. So. Uh. Yeah, so I'm Great. now experienced Twinsies. now, but wow, twinsies eight, eight, <laughs> six. <laughs> we got twenty actually because it's a plus four. Tank. What? Uh, yeah, plus four. Yeah, I tank. put my proficiency into it. Yeah, and then twelve and thirteen. For those who gotten higher on, I would say thirteen or above, you notice that. In the distance, you see a wyvernian creature roar as it flies over the jungle scape. As everyone else sees the smoke of the camp up north. Wait, oh, when you I say wyvernian, the camp, do you mean like do you mean like what tank is or like a wyvern? Uh, I mean like oh, an oh. actual like. Okay. Like an actual monster. Like, yeah. I'm just double checking. A yeah. very large creature, unidentified. What are you creature. trying I'm to so say? We can't see what you. Now, what are you trying to say like. here? <laughs> you trying to be racist? Hmm. Mark, can we actually tell? Wait, we just we hear this, right? Or do we you, see? You like... hear the in the distant call. This creature okay. looked up and see it actually in the distance overhead the jungle forest, like the jungle woods. Do we like see what it looks like? Uh. I would say it would look like. Um, thank you for asking and going into a little bit more detail for that. Hold on. Don't worry, I sent the picture in general already. It looks exactly like that. Well, similar to that, it looks like that. Nope. Oh, down. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> Ruffalo, yeah, a Ruffalos. But the thing is, these creatures aren't named yet, so you guys can name it whatever you want. Albert. Oh my god. The Albert flies amongst the stars. <laughs> Anyways, um, what do you guys want to do? As you do see the fishing ship, you're saying, Very well. Good luck out there. As he starts backing up the fishing boat and just sailing off. Good luck to you, too. And um, I guess we should head towards the camp. Head towards camp? Does anybody here know what way north is? <laughs> <laughs> Can I look at the sun? <laughs> I'm already just going to the camp. <laughs> yeah, it was, I know it's I know I just ignore the rest. But... I'm just, you see a little trotted man just walking off into the I'm woods. I'm gonna follow the, the short man. Yeah, me too. Yeah, just like, look back at the conversation Blue's character behind us and roll my eyes. Do we have our like, weapons hey. on us? Yes, uh, you did grab your weapons off the ship. Uh, Alright. I think with your your character, Biggie, as well as Tank's character, you guys had to grab their stuff, too, off the ship. Because they were okay. either 
they were swimming. Okay, so yeah, so basically a stunted man pulling a trolley behind him is walked off into the woods. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> um, when you guys do so, you guys also do see um let's see. I I pick off my weapon from the trolley. Uh, just no, just in case we immediately run into something. I think I got all my numbers mm. down finally. Oh shit, what's no. my AC? Shit! <laughs> Wait, okay. Did you go for light, medium, or heavy armor? I was gonna go light. Uh, 10 AC. Okay, cool. Thank you. He gets an AC from the weapons too, right? Oh, right. Uh, 2. On the two plates, so twelve. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> it's like leather armor. <laughs> yeah, and then all speed is like sixty. Mm -hmm. He said. You do, yeah. Be, well, it's not uh, speed. Uh, speed. Yeah. So if you if you dash, it should be a sixty, but because okay, so it's thirty. Yeah, it should be thirty. Just normal okay, thirty. Sorry. Feet. No, you're good. Sorry, I'm just I'm like, I'm finally the... done with my numbers. Half of my character sheet is blank. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you walk up with your trolley, you do see certain creatures start poking out of the bushes and coming towards you slowly but surely. They look like this. Oh, meow meows. Oh. Baby. Um... Sorry, I oh, was yeah. trying to have them communicate <laughs> with the person pulling the trolley. Sorry, my mistake. Real quick, uh, just to actually, you know, have a ground basis of all this stuff. Do we actually have general knowledge of, like, a lot of the actual ecosystems and a lot of these cre- like, some of these creatures, like, the native ones? Well, if you- Like, me... when, when you see this, do we actually know what this is? Basis... Or this would be, like, the first time of seeing something like this. Based history tells you that there would be small creatures that would be a part of your encampment that were civilized when trying to make the said camp. You haven't seen what they look like, but you have heard of them. So knowing that this is the first time you're seeing something that is being very curious, not trying to attack, but coming out from where the camp, close to the camp is, it's more of an assumption, I would say. Mm. Because they never really elaborated what this creature is. They just said, there's a civil small creature that helped with setting up the camp. Gotcha. Alright. So, All right. there's... So we don't know what the fuck a palico is. Not yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, that's what I was wondering. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I kick him out of the way. Like the shoe off a little Jesus, bit. Christ. Jesus Christ! You, you, you kick it, it, fa it starts falling down, rolling down the hill. The others just go, ah! and then just immediately run off. <laughs> can I, can I, like, chase the one that went down the hill? Is, is he, like, running off, or is he just, No, he's like, just rolling. Hey. He's, like, tumbling and rolling just into the I would, sand. I go, no, and I want to I I run after him. I just kicked him out of the way. Just, no, I know. So he trips and falls. That's I, on him. No, I, I, <laughs> I rolled a nat one on a deck safe, so he's just fucking just tumbling. <laughs> Uh, Unfortunate. Wait, let me try catching him as well. Yeah, I want, I want to try catching him too. Um, yeah. I would say that you should just roll, I think, just a base dex, I would say. So, okay. just uh, rolling d20 plus whatever your dex modifier is. That's a 12 plus... Right. You could just roll sleight of hand to try to catch him. Or sleight uh, of hand, yeah. 15. Okay. 15? Yep. Yeah, like... So that's plus three for me. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yo, we're both next characters. Let's God go. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say that at first our bird-like friend tries to catch it, but it stumbles in between their arms. So then it continues going, <laughs> and then just oh, no. barely gets caught by the wyvernian as they hold this poor bruised like animal in their arms 
Oh, oh poor thing. Oh, poor thing. Do we have anything to like heal it? No. no. <laughs> it's just bruised. <laughs> um, from there, you hear a. Hmm. I see. We did get ourselves some excellent tr people. Hmm. As in front of the camp gates, as they start to open uh, up wider, um, we have. Gosh dang it, I thought I had all my pictures ready, prepared, no, apparently I like, fuck I like how he says that after just seeing some, one of us kick a fucking cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the bar was on the ground. <laughs> Just like the cat, apparently. Oh. <laughs> I had everything set up. Oh, damn it. You know what? Here we go. I got it. I found it. Right here. That's who he is. There we go! Indeed. You must be the answers. My name is Hensworth. And who might you be? As he looks towards the stout man. My name is Chris Hahn. A, a Traverdian? Excellent. Indeed. You'll be one of the first of many. If anything, I have heard of great things from your people. Yes, that you heard correctly. Mm. Well, come in, come in. Make sure that we don't lose any of our supply. Who comes mm. up next behind the... Oh, wait, it would be Barker. Oh, my. What a fascinating person you might be. What they might call you. God damn, you're going to make me say that shit. You're the one who picked it! <laughs> you, you picked the name! I won. My name is... Loboduvoth. Loboduvoth? Hmm. Very strong name, I would say. My name's Hensworth. It's a pleasure. I uh, can't walk past him now. You, he moves out of your way because knowing how what? big you are and just walking as past I, through. As I walk past, I'm gonna stop and turn around and be like, "Get your news out my ass!" and keep going. What strong <laughs> name? What the fuck? Who says that? <laughs> like people who give compliments, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> nah, that's brown nosing <laughs> in a hat. <laughs> the man just looks very extreme. It's strange at that as he kind of turns around and sees the next person, which I would believe would be Blue, uh, Blue's character. Oh, another person from the ocean. Fascinating. What they might call you. Well, I'm Leonor, and she extends her hand to shake it, or shake his. A pleasure. Again, my name is Hensworth. Come in, come in. Pleasure. She just walks in. Um, I would say next one would be you, Zink. Hi. Oh, a feathery fellow. Indeed, another fascinating creature. We certainly did get a lot of bestians today. What they might call you? Uh, <clears throat> my, uh, my name is, is it Grain, Grain Hermer. Uh, pl pl nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, she sort of, sort of shakily extends her hand to, uh, to uh, shake his. And the pleasure is mine! My name's Hensworth. Please, make yourself at home. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Sort of skitters on by. And then finally, Tank, who's carrying the injured creature. 
Uh, injured? Oh yeah, bruised, injured. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. bruised. Now that is more of a kindred heart, but I'm not going to lie, those things, even though they're a bit helpful, I don't know if we should keep them in the base. Uh, I don't know, I just felt bad for the poor thing. I know monsters are meant to be hunted, but not all of them are bad. I thought he was one of the helpful ones, so I just, you know, not anyway. I, I hunt to survive, and if necessary. Well, I, think I don't we're... like over. Well, I think we're two different sides of a coin then, but nothing wrong with that. What they might call you? My name is Claremain. Claremain. And it's nice to meet you. My name's Sinsworth. Make yourself in at home. As thank you. As thank you. when you enter, he goes, "Close the gates!" <laughs> Immediately, the gates start closing in. You do see that inside, there's n barely anyone in there. Oh, only, yeah. It's only just him and a few others, in which I'm going to pull out the other stuff real quick. Let's see. Aha, here we go. <laughs> safe flight repairs, safe, safe flight for employees. <laughs> I, I like how so far for uh, art for different animals that we've met, it's like a dragon, a little cat guy, and then just a fucking Englishman. <laughs> oh, speaking of which. Not fucking um, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> he, <laughs> a little bit with a mustache. It's well, a bit too wide. Welcome to Head the Camp. Again, my name's Hensworth, but I am your gameskeeper. Uh, I just make sure that if you all are going to be capturing creatures, that we at least be able to use them in certain ways, whether it be sport or raising, if you need some additional rations. Or so no maybe even tame one. I know a few tricks here and there for animal handling, so if you ever see a creature that you feel as though it can be dominated, you let me know. Other than that, that fellow over there who's grabbing some of the supply some of the rations as we speak, you see a small burly man chopping off a fucking tentacle as it was trying to attack him, going, Ah! You get away from me! Foul beast! Rips it, the tentacle completely off and puts it around his shoulders. Ha! Ah, I swear! Fucking beast! That there is Kelvin. Now, ah, the fuck you're looking at? Another Trevonian. He immediately <laughs> looks at you when you say that. He goes, Oh! <laughs> Another person here! I finally feel like I'm not alone in this hellhole. Nice to meet you. I extend a hand out for a handshake. You do, as he goes in for like a bro like that brotherly thing where it's like arm extended out but pulls you in, pats you on the back. Ah, you come from the homelands? Indeed I have. There's some ongoings about a monster rampaging this settlement. Mm. Indeed. If anything, that's why I was here. After all, doing a job for a job. Yes? Indeed. Dead Indeed. in materials. Yes. A dangerous monster like this don't come around that often anymore. His parts shall make excellent wares. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Now, you might want some homemade food, yes? After all, from your travels, you probably ate some poorly made rations. Oh, it's been long. I indeed would like sustenance. Ah, uh, meet me in my, my quarters. 
I'll cook you all some fresh meals. Sounds good. How big is his quarters? It's like a, it's the biggest place in the area where it has like an open roof area where you see the smoke coming, kind of coming up. And when you go in, it's like a circular, like furnace uh, counter area with a few padded seats. Okay, cool. So I can fit in there? You can fit in there. It's okay. one of the only buildings you can fit. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, there he ch he starts mincing up the tentacle, and Hinsworth kind of comes in, sits down too. He is just drinking a bit of his ale, as uh, Kelvin just goes and says, "Well, as he said, my name's Kelvin, and." If you ever bring me any certain rare ingredients, I'll be able to cook you up something so good, you will be able to not come back to your normal daily cooking life. I'll promise you that. That, and I'm probably better than your mother. You met her? <laughs> And what sorts of things? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, I don't want to speak game, but I was a stud back in my time. I might be around 60, but I still got a lot of kick in me. Uh, in well. Also entering in. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do 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 do. I wish that they actually had everything for me, but apparently fucking not. Okay. Who is they? The people that I'm looking at right now for, like, certain things. Oh, but... I get it. I thought you were saying you wanted someone to get the pictures for where you like, No! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I got confused, okay? <laughs> So he's still waiting for his commissions. I'm still, I'm still waiting for the artist. Come on, artist. Do your stuff, man. Come on. <laughs> okay. So, inside comes this character. She walks in and goes and says, Do we already have our hunters? Oh! Hello! And oh my. How many fingers does he have? I thought there was going to be a lot more men here. It's good to know that the females are actually doing us a good service. I'm going to be sexist so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? We're, we're a pair of killer queens. I mean, you can never be too sure. Oh. I look towards the uh, whale. This one here could be a female. <laughs> you wouldn't know. That's true. true. You want to check, short man? Are you offering? It's as long as you are tall. <laughs> Damn. And for your size, you're not packing uh, that we, much. We already have in party flirting. Let's go. Hell yeah. Fuck you, Biggie, for your size, you're not back. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with that, she goes, Oh, um, well, I don't want to intrude. I'm just going to see you all are trying to be comfortable. Um, my name is Kilia. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Um, I do hope that you all be able to get yourselves ready and prepared for tomorrow because, well, it's going to be a long day. Um, oh, and 
if you ever need any assistance with your armory or weapons, uh, I'm your woman. Thank you for the offer, but I usually do my own weapons. Uh, fair enough, in which we do have a, a, a secondary area for people who don't need the bigger forges where they just want to work on their own things in private. Sounds good. She just nods. I'm, I'm gonna look at the dwarf. Doesn't it hurt to, <laughs> the to use your own weapons? <laughs> oh, sorry for interrupting. Oh, there you go. I was saying, doesn't it hurt to use your own weapons? What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, just, just the way you said it sounded a little, uh, how, how the, how the people say it now, uh, gay. <laughs> gay to use my own equipment? I just, you know, so, I, yeah, I was just, What's hey, it was a joke gay? that failed, alright, it was a joke that failed, alright, short man, you don't have to give me a blank stare and just fucking, you know, push the, me down like that, alright, go the fuck other, yourself. The other short yeah. man... The other short man looks at you going, I don't even know what the hell gay means. Me neither. It means happy. Oh! It's what, well, it's I guess I am a gay fellow myself. Yes. My character <laughs> just kind of holds their head in my hand, just like, looking down. <laughs> <laughs> it means happy. Oh, well, I'm a gay fellow myself. And it's just like, no. No, I'm man. also trying not to oh. laugh. <laughs> Well, I'm happy that you are comfortable sharing that. Well, aren't you all gay and happy? In, in a sense, yeah. Well, yeah. there yeah. you go. <laughs> I could say the most heinous so, shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, we're recording. You can't. Absolutely. I love God. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just love the fact that it's like explaining something to an old man. It's like, oh, okay. Oh shit. What's all oh, the yippy yap in here? Hey, all you need to calm down in here. There's so much noise, and I'm trying to get some rest. Sorry for the interruption. Who are you, maybe? I'm the guild master of these parts. Oh, deepest apologies. Well, thank you. Damn, how fucking short is he? He is, is he a halfling? three foot seven, and yes, he's a halfling. I see, I see, okay. My name's Rowan, by the way. I believe you are all my explicit hunters that I ask for. Indeed, that is uh, us. Yes. We are. That's us, that's us. Hmm. You're really well diverse in the uh, Beastians, are you not? I could have sworn that I hired some others, but I don't know where they went. Say, you see any other ships out there? Did we? That's what I saw. Three of them sunk on the way here. I mean, ah, no, blast. Blasted. Well, that was a bit of a joke. <laughs> Well, any which way, we still don't have them here. Blasted. There goes all my coin. Well, make yourselves at home. If anything, if you ever do need any sort of assignment, you let me know, and I'll make sure that you get it right onto it. Hey, Rowan! What? Are you, you need to be a little bit more gay. What do you mean by that? It means happy. Yes, Rowan. Aren't you happy? Aren't you just gay to at least have us here? Don't you want to be a gay little man? Oh my <laughs> <laughs> That sounds a bit <laughs> odd coming from you, giant whale. This is these people that I've ended up working with. I don't work with non-gays. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan just goes and rolls his eyes, just going, I'm just going back to sleep. 
We'll just be a bit more gay in the morning, okay? Yeah, finally minces up the rest and puts it in the oven. And then from there, we do have... Hold on. Yeah, oh, I'll, I want to look at the, 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 the cook real quick, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, there's a word. You know, because instead of calling yourself a gay man, there's a word for that. Because gay is just the act of being happy. But there's a word that means you're a gay man. Oh, what that might be. Well, in the layman's term, it's called a friend. You're criminal for that. You're you are criminal. actually criminal. <laughs> oh, actually my criminal. God. There you go for that. Really yeah, you know that. <laughs> Hardy's used to bleeping my shit out, okay? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyways, um, from that, I would say uh, he would just go, ah, an unusual word, but... I mean, if that's what your customs are, I don't know what to... Is. Mm. Mm. Ah, food stand. <laughs> just turns around. I was so hoping you'd be like, I'm a fag. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Uh, from there, we have who enters in while he goes and grabs the food. We do have this character. Who comes in and just gives a wave. He doesn't really say much. Ah, oh. our non-disclosed NPC. The one with the mysterious past. <laughs> huh. Oh, he doesn't speak much. He's more of a mute. Uh, that there mm -hmm. is... Uh, Mal Malkai. He's, uh, he's the docks master. He makes sure that all your resources come in whenever you make some orders. That's about it. That's Hensworth just explaining as he continues sipping on mm. his drink, enjoying the conversation that is going on. <laughs> I uh, didn't nod my eyes. I'm sorry, does he have a Beyblade on his arm? What is that? Uh, that is from what it looks like his grappling hook oh, oh yeah. okay. that's cool mm -hmm. he, he again oh, um, one doesn't really do much he just continues to stare but he points over towards Cassin and he does the action of hammering indeed I am a smith just gives a thumbs up and then uh, immediately um, hands over a bag to Kassan and then heads out. I look inside the bag. Uh, it is some. Uh, it's a bag of loosened iron uh, um, ore. Oh, nice. Sweet. Did he want me to make something out of this, or he just gave it to I me? I think and just it's left? just an open gift for the blacksmith of the group. Oh, bag of ore. Mm hmm. Yum. So let's see. We got our gameskeeper. We got our chef. We got our uh, blacksmith. We got our guild master. We got our docks master. But we are missing one last person. Oh, right. Yeah. Let's, let's not forget. Okay. Drum roll. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Ow. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. Perfect. You, you do hear from Hensworth. 
Well, it seems like we've masked everyone here, but then again, I haven't seen where immediately enters in. Hey! Where's the trainees? Ah, just in the nick of time. Ah, you're all the scrap I'm working with. I only see two experienced people, but the rest of you... I don't know. You need to make your worth. I look to him and say, hmm, even with the most useless of scrap can make the sharpest of tools. Well, I hope so. Because right now, I'm a little fed up with the last bunch that we got. What did they do? What do you think? They became Died. chow for monsters. Yep. Well, isn't... No, never mind. My name is yeah. Talon. If you have to call me by anything, that's what you will be addressing me by. I am not anyone in particular, but I will be coming along to make sure to document anything. In, in other words, he's your zoologist. Ooh, sort of, I think, uh, Grain will sort of perk up at hearing that. I don't... So, I might be a rough person, but yes, I do make sure that anything out there is documented. Any information is valuable. So, just don't waste my time and we'll be on good terms. Alright? Alright. Is there a barber? <laughs> you look at him, though. <laughs> Bro got that low temper fade. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, how useful is three swords? I don't know. It could be two swords and a dagger, maybe. That's Bro's a Zoro. No, those, are very him, clearly, those are very clearly sword hilts, though. It could be... Two swords and a rapier. Maybe he switches weapons depending on the situation. Or he does a Darth them all and just puts two to two of them together. There I mean, do. let's be honest. In freaking tropes like this, do you question the guy who pulls out sixteen different weapons from God knows where and place them out on the table right before they enter an event? You know, what? that's very no. fair. It's... Exactly. You wouldn't question it. Yeah. If, any, cool, baby. if anything, as well, Rule you can't have cool. too much protection exactly. as a person that's just trying to document big creatures. Exactly. So, if anything, he goes and says, uh, You all have a good night. I'll see you sharp in the morning. Don't be late. He immediately what? just leaves. He didn't say what time. He just said sharp. He didn't say yeah, you just, just, you just said sharp. Oh, that's not when you, sharp. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I would, that's not how you use that expression. <laughs> I would, I would help you out. Uh, he, he would mean around seven. Okay. I don't know why he doesn't always elaborate the time, but it helps breaks out the, well, newbies. So you know, you do be what it be. Oh damn it! Somehow the veil. Well, I guess it's good for tonight. You all have a good one. All right. Good night. Good, good, evening. good evening. All right. And from there, food's ready. Eat up. Finally, I'm starting. I start up. Ba baked tentacle for some reason. <laughs> Not just baked tentacle. It is tentacle with a side of uh, gravy. As well as another uh, assorted meat. It's an interesting combo. Um, when you guys do eat this, by the way, you do gain what is called a favored inspiration. Favored inspiration oh. allows you to um, either reduce uh, down half the damage of an attack or allows you to add a little bit more damage to your attack. You already know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> How much damage, though? 
Well, that depends on your build. It's because everyone's is a little different. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I actually can't say much. For, I mean, for the lance, it's just going to be an additional dice roll of the lance. But for, like, the dual okay, daggers, it's going to be the additional, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. What it was it called? Uh, favored inspiration. Favored. favored. Because when you guys eat into this, it's very uh, savory. It makes it makes you feel as though that you came from a very like rustic countryside. Yummers. Mm -hmm. How did he manage that with tentacle? The Trovernian Calamari. Way. That's impressive. Yeah. Trovernians <laughs> can do a lot of fascinating things if you do if I do say so myself. Also like baked tentacle with gravy. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Trovernian. And, uh, okay, well, well um, Kelvin just goes Well, whenever you're done in here, make sure you clean up after yourselves. Um, where, where do we, uh, where do we put the dishes? Ah, oh, you gotta sit in the corner over there. Okay. Now I'm going to bed. There's so I'm many dishes beat. in that corner, though. <laughs> well, you do see, like, there's a bunch of, like, stacked up dishes that haven't been cleaned yet when you look into that said corner. Like, there you okay. have it. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong character, sorry. <laughs> Wrong character! <laughs> From there, you guys uh, are now left into the eating hall by yourselves. Well, um, I guess there's there's nothing left to do here. Do we rest until the morning? Yeah, let's prepare. Let's prepare for the hunt. I would say. Excellent. I, I am torn between saying that Leonor goes to bed or that she goes to sleep in a barrel full of water. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are... Torn. There are five small little huts in which one is a bit bigger than the rest, i.e. the other building that the poor whale man could fit in. But that's about it. Inclusivity, let's go. Inclusivity... Um, by the way, when you ever you guys do long rests, you guys can harness certain uh, skills if you do not just go to rest, uh, go to bed immediately. So, for instance, if you practice something, you roll three d20s, and if you get over 15 with that skill, I'll apply it. What? Yeah. Huh? It's basically a skill no. learning mechanic. So, so better in practice. Skills to learn. Probably. Yeah, better in practice. So, um, when you guys, uh, let me know whenever you guys are all ready for the long rest. So I think that blue and tank are ready. How about the rest yeah. of you? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Zinc. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. So you guys all head over to your little huts, make yourselves at home, with certain comfortabilities already in there, depending on your homeland. However, depending on your skill, so let's start off with big time. Big time, what yeah. do you feel like you would want to try to apply as a skill? Is it something that we can... Is it something that we have to... Can it be anything, basically? It could be basically anything. I'll look it up and see what it actually can be applicable for, and then go from there. So, for instance, like, you could be like, oh, I'm going to practice some um, crafting and then go into that. And then I'll let you know. Yeah, I could probably do some metal ores or something. Metal ores? Okay. Yeah. Um, Go ahead and roll me three D20s. And you want to take anything above 15 if you do succeed or fail. Anything above 15? Anything above 15. 
Ooh, two, two successes. Let's go. Okay. And you said min uh, minerals, correct? Yeah. You take out the bag that you were looking at, and you start observing it. As you actually start picking it out for more pure versions of the iron versus unpures. From there, you gain mineral proficiency. Whenever minerals are in play, you could actually roll a d20, add in your intelligence modifier, and be able to apply uh, a more pure concentrate of said material. Would this basically just be like I can have a chance of using less uh, materials to craft like items and armor stuff? What it would help you do is it strips it away from anything else that could cause it to be kind of like impure. So basically what I'm trying to assess is it might cut down like me cutting down on materials. But overall, it can apply a better weapon or armor set. So basically, you have a better chance at like an uncommon set, a rare set, an epic set, or a legendary set. Gotcha. Okay. So what is this set? What is this uh, skill called? Or uh, mineral proficiency. Okay. We'll go down to now to blue. Blue. What would you like, Lord? Okay. Nor I understand. Leonor I think I understand. Mm hmm. So, could I pick one of my weapon skills and, like, go outside with the lance and practice, practice the form of it? Oh, which skill? Um, I'd say forward stab is the one I use the most, so probably that one. You go outside to look for the training yard, in which the only thing that you see for training yard is the sign that says training yard, but it's a cart with a bunch of rocks in it. What? <laughs> Alright, well, I, I I just do it, like, in the open. Well, not, like, I do it in the training yard, so I'm not risking hurting anyone, but mm -hmm. I uh, do it against, like, an invisible opponent. Right. Since I, I don't know what to do with the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I love the fact eight. that you guys have a play monster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no successes there. No successes. You didn't know exactly what you were wanting to do, so when you tried <laughs> yeah. practicing invisible, you never actually knew where you were hitting. So, you, you just practice form, you get a little better, but it's not as great as you wanted it to be. A little rusty. Okay. But I think, though, I think, canonically, you didn't succeed because you were so confused on the tree. <laughs> uh, it's very accurate to how you described what you're trying to do. <laughs> I, I walk in like, yes, the training yard, and I, I see a pile of rocks in a cart, and like, and it, it, it's just so confusing that I, I just can't focus on the training. <laughs> All right, Baka, what do you like to do? I'm doing nothing. You don't want to train in anything or practice anything? No. Okay. Tank. What would uh -huh. you like to do? I think I want to practice my stealth. Stealth? To see if, okay. Yeah, to see if like I can uh, observe anyone while they're not... Uh, now this is so going to get really... interesting. Who are you spying on? Uh, Let's spy on... That's why the doofus who didn't know what he was doing is practicing. But with with the rocks. Oh, okay. oh <laughs> Leonor. Okay, roll me three d twenties. Okay. Do I add my stealth modifier or? Nope. Okay, I got one success and two failures. Looks like. So immediately, Leonor turns around after being so confused, notices you, and now. I Elaborate on how you feel now, Leonor. It's like, oh, um, do do, do you know what we're supposed to do with these? And she picks up a rock. You wait. Do you pick up one of the? So these rocks are like as big as lud. Oh, yeah. yeah. I I thought they were like. Like hand size. No, okay. they're bad. like giant rocks in a car. That's even that's up. even more confusing. 
<laughs> Why are they in a cart? <laughs> How big are these, you said? They're as big as Lud, as in, like, Baka's character. Oh. And they're all stacked up in a cart. Oh, okay, cart. I get it. Okay, it's the... Okay. Yeah, yeah, see? See, right. Baka Big know, Time knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, perhaps for a trap? Um... I, oh, I guess. You you keep doing what's, what you were doing. I don't... Really yes, don't mind me. This. And I go, okay. what's that behind you? And then when he looks behind huh? him, I just I just disappear. <laughs> yeah, she, she turns around and, and turns back like... Oh. And I'm gone. <laughs> you, oh, you, <laughs> and the funniest thing is, you she's, just see you just see them sneaking off into their quarters and just closing the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, oh, oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, and they just keep practicing. <laughs> and then finally, Zinc, what would you like um, Grain to do? I mean, assuming there there have been people here, so I'm I might want to like study any written documentation. Of, of the monsters that are here, if there is any. Very well. Uh, roll me 3d20s. <laughs> the dramatic X. <laughs> What's that? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Did I just... You good? D yeah, I'm... It's not... Can I just roll with my own dice? <laughs> I, I feel like or I maybe, could... Maybe that's... I, I feel like I could trust that. I uh, usually okay, don't because yeah. a lot of people like to fudge their dice, so they yeah, roll yeah I can and... understand that. Yeah. I mean, if 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 it's if it's like if you don't want to do that, that's fine. I can, I can... Yeah. Hold on. You just put three d twenty instead of d twenty. Mm hmm. Basically. Yeah, I, I. You don't even have to type it. You could just click the symbol. There's yeah, a symbol. Let's just let's just use the menu instead. Uh, I didn't even there know that you could click the. Menu. Oh. oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter for those two other failures because usually I like, again, how I like to do D&D. When you get a crit, uh, a nat 20, it's a critical success. If you get a nat 1, it's a critical failure. Oh. Ah. So, it's on, on uh, social skills too. Mm -hmm. So basically meaning in this case, even though you did get two failures, you did get a nat 20, which would count as two successes, which is what you were looking for. Nice. You knock on the door for um, for our dear friend Talon's place and open it up. And you see a whole... It's not as big as the eating quarters, but it it's a room filled with books. Hey, yo. Um, okay. Basically, it, it has two... Uh, two normal sized bookshelves stacked on top of each other, which reaches up to the roof, and then it's curved around the entire little hut. And oh, so there is a books everywhere. Mm -hmm. And there's a ladder to help get to the second bookshelf just in case. Okay. Talon has his feet up on his little desk area before he was about to head off to bed and goes, Uh, what are you. Oh, uh, uh, hi. I'm. 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 I didn't mean to uh, intrude. I just, uh, since we're heading off already tomorrow, I thought I might want to um, sort of prepare myself, r read up on what we're going to face uh, beforehand, hmm. if if that's all right. That I that I borrow some of your material. Um, well, if that's the case, here, tosses you a book. Uh, so uh, you catch, catch it. it, and it's it says the fauna of the. Area one. Uh, <clears throat> th thank you. And then I just sort of back out of the door very quietly and close it. If you, if you ever need books, mm -hmm. don't feel yeah. like you are scared. Uh, right. <clears throat> uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, appreciate it. Good night. You do close the door. I did. He and when yeah. you do so, he was about to go back and. Uh, Adjust something and then looks back at the door and goes, Strange one. <laughs> Plus, I never knew a person interested in my books. Whatever. Mm. Goes to bed. 
from there you learn um you learn bestiary knowledge one okay you know a little bit of everything from area one from creatures in it mm-hmm well, common face creatures, like ones that are natural in there, not like ones that y come in here and there, if that makes sense. Okay, okay. Um, so I like, I, I know what's supposed to be going on in Area 1. Mm hmm. You also gain an affection point for Talon. Ah, nice. Thank you, thank you. Yep. And as morning rises, you guys could do whatever you want. What you guys are doing before you head off with Talon on your first expedition? Um. Well, do we have breakfast? I mean, yeah. that's up to you guys. Yeah. This is just yeah, more role play for that sense. I, I won't go get something to eat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. Preferably a cup of coffee if they have that. And big time? Uh. Yeah, I'd grab a small meal. Okay. You guys go in and you see that Kelvin, you hear a big ruckus in the eating hall as when you guys barely crack open the door, you see a big bird as Kelvin's like, Damn you, beast! You fucking piece of shit! And just beating the crap out of it until it's like there's blood just splattering all over the place as you hear a. <laughs> and then just dead. I see oh, not how you humanely. Um, so what's for breakfast? Oh! Hello, friends! I was about to have a very gay morning until this shit happens. Aw, nice. oh, so you're not, you're not very faggy today, are you? I forgot. Not quite, no. This bird didn't want to die. I was just going to humanely just sn s cut off its head. But it just wanted to fight back, so I just gave it the good old Trovian fisting. What? Um. What? What? A silence falls over the room. You know, <laughs> fisticuffs. Am I, is that not yes. the right way to say it? Oh. Um. So, uh, so what are we having for breakfast? This is good a gal, as he kind of flops the broken neck over the table. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. As he again chops off the neck finally as the head rolls over the counter <laughs> and hits the ground. That's not... that isn't sanitary. Um, Who eats the heads well, <laughs> anyway as he grabs the head from the other side, throws it into the garbage, and then immediately starts preparing the food. Talon immediately enters in and he goes and says, I said to be sh- Oh, hey. You're all awake. Hello. Wait, if you're, if you're, you're walking you're in here to, to, to scold us, why would you walk into the place and start scolding where we're supposed to be? Because the people who would... This is just me. Anyway, I'm having breakfast. I don't care. Indeed. As he sits down... As... Uh, Calvin's like... Talon, you need to stop being very... Well, weird. I don't know what you mean by that. You don't really put a lot of emphasis on your words. I mean, come on. I just learned a new word and I'm 67. Come on. Put some emphasis. Be a bit more descriptive. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Well, shit. Now I just unplucked the wrong place. Chops off that section so that way it's a clean cut. That it doesn't affect the rest of the meat. All right. And as he puts it in the oven. So, how was your night's rest in the camp for the first night? It's fine. Um, I slept well. Aha! Uh -huh, indeed. How about you, Trovarian brother? How are you feeling? 
It was quite that, okay. Let's go, let's go. Say, if you ever need anything to make your place a bit more at home, in area two, I do know of some certain ores that makes it a bit more homey. I can even mark it on your map if you so wish. I know my head. There we go. He pulls it out. Dinner served! You see a good chunk of breast from the creature is on the plate. A bit of scrambled Ew. eggs, some seasonings, and finally a bit of par- uh, not parsley, a bit of uh, garnishing. Well, there's only two plates. No, there's, mm. there's like several plates. It's like a huge, oh. like this bird was a big bird. So it, yeah. he kind of oh. chunked up the breast, put it on the My plate. My god. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Because you said plate and singular was like places too. <laughs> so. <laughs> I said it was a. Oh, I, I might have missed bird. her. It was like, is a grains just sort of sitting, staring at her plate, oh. looking very, very. Start eating my plate. <laughs> yeah, from there. Um, Calvin kind of looks at you and goes, Well, dig in. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, thanks. He just still, he just still intensely oh stares at you until you actually eat. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm very slowly eating ah, another bird. <laughs> good. I was for a minute there thinking that you didn't like my meal. <laughs> just... uh, that's a it's it's very good. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just I just haven't <clears throat> woken up yet, <clears throat> quite. Oh, yeah. well, I get it. You need some water. I got water over here. Hold on. Have a. Oh, no. Well, yeah, no, be... <clears throat> no, it, it... she's just sort of she's just sort of Stuttering. awkwardly mumbling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> puts down the waters for everyone and then you guys can apply 30 temporary HP points uh oh that's cool nice. all right you know, I have to go I have to google something very quickly um um uh, fresh Water. Shit, okay, I I drink the water. Is it salty? Is it salt? No. no. <laughs> I spit it out immediately. Oh, what is this? It's water. Oh, don't you have any proper water? What bottle? I got that from the river. What? Huh? The river? Why would you get it? Well, do you have any Yurashaf? You have salt, right? He blinks twice. He, 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 he motions for you to put down the fucking water. And I put it down, uh, like, just string for he, like a salt shaker or something. Yeah, he immediately grabs a salt shaker, unscrews off the lid, dumps the whole thing in your water, stirs ah, it with perfect. a spoon. There! You happy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I drank that. I had to, I had to Google if swordfish were freshwater or salt water. Oh my god! <laughs> what, you had to Google that. I had to make sure, like, because some fish yes, are. Yes, because are every local river has a swordfish. <laughs> Listen, okay. Mm -hmm. Listen, you know, we see okay. all the time over here. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I was just wondering. They swim with the ducks and the goldfish. I also get fussed down the fucking toilet. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be 100% sure. Alright. Just the other day, I drove down to the street and fucking speared my damn tire. <laughs> oh. I, I remember the days when me and my father used to fish for swordfish. Down at the pond. <laughs> I swear to God. Give me a second. It's in your board. Oh, okay.
Sorry, my my sibling walked into my room. Sorry about that. Talon just goes, finish up your meals. Come on, you need to get going. Oh, Talon, uh, I meant to ask. I last night I went to the the training yard and there was just a cart of boulders. What is that's our that's why our training dummy? The boulders? Do you expect us to have a lot of money? Wouldn't boulders be more expensive? I look to Baloo's character and say, You're supposed to hit the boulders, boy. Don't think that every monster that we come across will be as squishy as us. Like he said, a lot of the creatures have very hard carapaces. If you want to get through them, I mean, you could try just stabbing them with a measly knife. I. S I mean, if anything, you see these? He, you see the sword on his hilt? He pulls it out. It's broken. Why is he carrying that around? <laughs> I have a... He goes and says, I broke this yesterday after trying to save the other hunters. Throws it to the side. Most of the hunters' weapons are actually made from the monster that they slay. And I'm hoping what? that on this expedition we get you guys enough materials, as well as a little bit more research on my end. So come on. We're burning mm -hmm. daylight. Well. Yes. <laughs> All right. Did you just mold? I <laughs> no, I said yes. I want to fight something. Let a man go. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Give me the, as, the the big fish or whatever. Now, as we get out to the other side of the camp uh, gates, I need to make one thing very clear. You guys are able to prepare yourselves for the travels up to going. Um, right now in the camp, you guys have this amount of rations. This amount of uh, this amount of gear. Oh wait, shit. I did not mean to do that, sorry. 40 rations, 4. I'm to... sorry. So we still have... we already have our armor and our weapons attached, right? Yes, basically. Yeah. So this is right now your overall things that you could bring onto your trip. It could grow more depending on how much you get paid. So Generally, what's in a gear bag? Gear bags include a spit for your uh, rations. Uh, not for your rations. There's a spit for your overall like cooking of creatures. So that way you can mm -hmm. eat it and get a few other buffs on the way. Uh, in there as well is an ex, uh, a bio, a bio, uh, a biopedia for the overall biology in the area, for a simple sense. Uh, there is a few other like daggers and knives for certain amounts of harvesting for creatures, so on and so forth. So basically things that are good for harvesting, good for identifying, and good for overall buffing. But the thing is, if you break any of your gear in the bag, you have to replace it. And the only way you could do that is if you have the money and funds for the Docs Master, i.e. Uh, Malkai. Got it. So with that in mind, what are you guys all preparing? Because um, those 40 rations are also the overall rations of the camp concurrently, after eating right. breakfast. Well, how long do we expect to be out? I turn to tell and say that. I mean, it's basically an expedition, right? So we don't really know. Fair enough. Um, As Talon says, yeah. it could take days, weeks. We'll just need to explore Area 1, though. That's the whole intention. Until Rowan says, Hey, wait! Wait! <sighs> I have something to ask of you. We got sightings from one of those damn cat things. 
something of a big origin near the southeast uh, area, which is heading closer to camp. If you check that area out, there's apparently a monster in that direction. I'll pay yes, you a sum if you do so. Well, What's that sounds that reasonable. Description? I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, is it something I recognized from the what I read last night, or is it something else? Well, he he. The Rowan would probably need to elaborate what the creature might look look like. Like okay. not just say, "Oh, there's a creature." He might need to okay. give a description. <clears throat> if he does give a description, you might know. Okay, so just do that. <clears throat> so I was gonna. I think Grain just sort of speaks up a little bit. <clears throat> ex ex excuse me, uh, Mister Rowan, sir. Mm hmm. <clears throat> did they? Uh, did you? Did you hear anything about what? What kind of creature? Like, what? What did it look like? What? What was it? Or uh, was that? Is that all the details? Yeah. All I would know is that it's a very feathery raptor, and it has <laughs> followers. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm gonna take four or five rations. Five. Okay, applying five rations to the overall haul. Okay. Do you also grab a gear bag? No. No. Okay. Um, how about everyone else? What are you all grabbing with you? Um, uh, I'll, I'll take grab gear bag. five. Five yeah, rations. Okay. Yeah, take gear bag. Well. Okay, so from what I'm understanding, uh, everyone takes a gear bag except for Baka, which in this case would make sense because there's five players with only four gear bags. Um, five rations for each player, meaning that there will only be five rations left within the camp. And finally, does anyone take the material trolley for actually lugging in any like harvest like materials? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Which in that case, then that means what's left behind is five rations. So I'm writing this down into you guys' uh, thing right here. This is what's being taken. And then after that, Talon goes, let's go. As the gates open and we are now on our quest. All in right. The, now, in the area of area one, you guys could go anywhere you guys want to from any cardinal direction. Um, main key points on the map that you guys will see. Southeast, there is a, a red dot, meaning that there will be an intense fight over there. Like a very, like, it's going to be challenging. Um, okay. In the north, there is a yellow dot, meaning that there's going to be semi-challenge. And then there is a gold bag over in the east, which that says that there is gold ore to be mined, which gold okay. ore can be compressed into coin. Listen, I, I want to fight something. Right. So, yeah. so you I could either go you could either go north or southeast then. So there's an intermediate say, fight and then a challenging fight. I'd say since it's our first time, maybe the intermediate makes more sense so we get used to the system first up to you guys so one or vote for email. intermediate Just dive. full send it <laughs> full send it okay <laughs> i feel well, like we one should... for each now we're uh we can vote on it i think well that's what i'm trying to gather right now i'm trying to make sure that everyone gets something of what they want so we have one vote for full send for the challenge one person for intermediate how about everyone else Full send. Full send? We have another one for full send. Of course, tank. <laughs> <laughs> full send, I'm the glass I'm cannon! Not, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all this intermediate. Intermediate? Two votes on intermediate, meaning that, Zinc, you're the tiebreaker. Oh, shit, no okay. Um, well, I... Um, do we go intermediate, or do we fight something? Do we well, go? <laughs> we're fighting something either way. No, 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 no. Okay, let me put it this way. <laughs> Do we slap our dicks on something, or do we fight something? <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking... If if we do the easy one first, we may have space to do two. If, we, if Yes, so if you do intermediate, you might be able to do something else. But if you yeah. do the full send one, that, like everyone else is saying, not only would you get the materials off of that beast and whatever entities are else in the area, 
uh, you would also get the reward. Um, the reward right now is yeah. around 6,000 6, coin. Hmm. Hmm. But we... Hmm. The intermediate so one, you would get materials, but only materials. If you do the okay. ch challenge, it will be not only materials, but also coin. Yes, but I'm thinking if we do intermediate first, we can get like the yes. two of them in one run, so we don't tire ourselves out. Fair enough. But if we you guys also get what I'm saying. Yeah, and it that is almost sense. five two, so that's also like it will be put off till session two. So it's just more of what are we ending off the session with for today? Mm. I mean, no, I see. Here, here, yeah, we, I we have the potential to get double fight here in the long run. Yeah, but we could be tired out after the fucking the moderate fight. But like, would we though? Depends on <laughs> depends on how much you exert through the fight, meaning like how injured you guys come out of it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, if, we, if we exert and get high end rewards, I feel like you know full sending it's way better. Plus, up to if you go up north from your area, and if you guys aren't completely dead. Um, there is a gold ore area over there, and you just got someone who also trained in minerals. So, there's also that. Okay. So, it's up to you yeah. guys at the end of the day. You guys could decide. Those are just key points on the map, though. Hmm. I, I, think I, wanna vote, I think I want to vote intermediate first. Okay. Yeah. Three for intermediate, two for full send. Which means that we'll go the to the intermediate first. Let's see. Let's see what we got for intermediate. Oh! What, don't you know? <laughs> ah! Yeah, well, yes, I know. I just had to look at my listings of area one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Here, I'm pulling up the picture. I'm just trying to figure it out so let's see here do it hmm? just a side question did I get any armor to uh, so ammo to start me off? Yes, no, I, you, that, you the, would I have know. 60 shots. 60? Of what? Of normal level 1. Yes. You, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Pew. Pew, pew. pew, pew. I'm trying to find where the, God. the picture is for this thing. Sorry. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And I'm so, I'm so sorry. sorry. <laughs> I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. <laughs> you see out in the distance a creature out of weird proportions, but at the moment seems of a raptor descent. However, uh, you can't really tell. Rolling perception. Oops. All of us? Uh, he didn't answer, so I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it too. Yeah. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just oh, I'll, be, I'll be right back. I won't take long. No I've only rolled eights. <laughs> Wait, no, I did the 3D20s. Never mind. For skills, I've only rolled eights so far. Perception. Okay. So I got that planned out. Oh, you son of a bitch! Damn! Oh. You still oh. oh! She accidentally Good. closes her eyes. Yeah! Oh. So I'm gonna assume that the only person that sees is Lob. What the fuck? Are you gonna. Oh, I'm wait. Sorry. Oh, wait. Grain hasn't rolled. Sorry. My mistake. Um. <laughs> I am so sorry You're that I'm so bad at this system. So, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. It's gonna be <laughs> easier down the road. You back, Baka? You back? 
No, oh, he doesn't answer. I just heard, I just heard the green thing come up, so I thought he was putting on his headset. That's my bad. Not, I assume things when I hear rustling that somebody's like coming back. If that makes sense. That yeah. Makes sense, yeah. But you know, assuming makes an ass out of you and me. I will state uh -huh. this for both. Lob, I will repeat it for Lob, but I would also say for the sake of Grain. You huh. see, um, no results, my butt. I thought I had it. Huh? My immersion, no. Not my immersion. Oh my god, I just remembered. I'm doing this on Discord and not in real life. No. No. My immersion. What do you mean I'm not a fish? <laughs> what the fuck? We once had hope for a future What the fuck is this? I just we wanted monster hunting music. Not the. Oh my god. <laughs> we singing. <laughs> The weatherman comes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like I had it all prepared and ready. I have the picture, and then it's just like some like parody song, and I'm like, huh? I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. I Welcome had back. the song and everything. And you played the wrong one. Yeah. It just, oh my god, it just ruined my immersion after that. I was like, damn it. <laughs> my immersion. No, the immersion. Oh, this is, oh god. It's just nice. It's just nice. There. Oh my god, it took so long just to find the right song. Fuck. Monster time. Ooh. Let's go. For those who have rolled higher than a 12, sees in the distance a creature of raptor descent, has a very big beak and plumage only on its head. However, with its claws, it holds an egg like rock as you see this thing. Ooh. Ooh. It's like a so we're on dodo bird. So what the guy, what the guy wanted? Okay. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. Uh, in your book, it's it doesn't have a name yet, but it is okay. It is of, but it does describe it as a very intermediate creature. However, it is known to bash people's skulls in with its rock. Right. Well, it's kind of uh, stupid. <laughs> kind of so, uh, just ate this morning. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's sort of well, yeah. So, so I guess I just sort of relay that to the party that uh, it, it's not named, and it's uh, it will try to bash your head in with the with the egg. Mm. Oh. How about this for a name? As I pull out the hunting horn, dinner. <laughs> uh, Talon just says, "Do be careful." Apparently, that is the same creature that killed the other hunters. This goofy hmm. thing. I said the same thing, as he's very disappointed. As you also now glance at the dead bodies that have been pecked at. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, boy. Right. Mm. Do we, uh... So do we roll for initiative? <laughs> this, wait, more importantly, yep, does roll... it see us? No, it does not. Ooh, so true. you guys could get an ambush on it. Ooh. Okay. All right. That's true. I'm pulling up the okay. map right now as I will we also sneak. pull up we sneak. where is the initiative turn order. There. I pulled up turn order. I'm pulling up the map oh, as we speak. Alright, do you want the initiative or the sneak roll first? Uh, actually do sneak roll first, actually. That okay, would okay. make sense. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, what's my sneak? Oh, there it is. It's stealth. Well, I picked yeah. that one to be proficient. How, how do I... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> how do I add my thing? Sorry, guys. <laughs> how you add your thing? Um, yeah. How other people so have been like... doing it is, like, they do the roll thing, and then they add a plus or minus, 
and then do that. If that makes sense. I know some people have yeah. that. Ah. Oh wait, slash roll. roll. We're not doing well. No. Maybe, maybe it's stupid. Maybe it's stupid. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Why did I, I built my character around this? So. <laughs> I would hope I would get a decent roll. Oh, and this is why I wanted to get back into the game, because damn, this is a bop. Uh, okay, uh, sorry. Layer token. I'm trying to. Oh, wait, map. Right, I don't like this new outlay for this at all. How big is this thing, by the way, compared to us? Oh, I'm about to show you. Okay. So, place your tokens down from you guys coming from the south up to the north. So, down here. Place yourselves over here. Oh, um, can you put mine oh, up for right. me? I've never been able to do it. Like, it just doesn't work for me. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, where... You put mine in, too. Yeah. I, I can't put mine in, because I don't have, like, a character thing. Oh, well, hold on. Man, this is a oh big god, big that's a huge god. fish! That is one huge fish! <laughs> blub blub motherfuckers! <laughs> and then, get big time in. There you are. Just need to get one last character in. Uh, let's see. Sorry, that is taking like some time. Where's Piggy at? I don't know. I'm there. Oh, you're in there. He oh, slept okay. really no, well. I'm, I'm no, 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 I, I, I just didn't hear you for a bit. I didn't know if you were even here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm still here. Don't worry. I'm gonna raise you, because... No, I'm just gonna lower the the, the bot, because it's very loud on my end. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, yo, I'm I can see all the characters here. Piggy. What? Why am I over how? there? How, why there is there so many? Oh god! Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Save changes. Why are there several of me? You cannot remove. <laughs> what do you mean I can't remove? You cannot remove a character's owner from can be edited or. You actually suck. I why tried. There's so many of me. <laughs> I have to remove you from the fucking character sheet. Apparently, fucking like. <laughs> Leonora ambush. <laughs> My people. Can I not? I can't remove Leonora from the fucking game. What is going on? <laughs> Guys, the dodo <laughs> ran away. I fucking hate this. Also, like the 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 squares on the map don't match the. Yeah, I know, the... they never do, for some damn reason, I hate it. As it's much another as fucking do. Leonore. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to delete the fucking Leonore thing from the characters, and I can't. God damn it. No. Oh, fuck you. You fucked me. I wasn't even trying to fuck you, I was trying to delete the fucking character page. God damn it. I can't delete it because you're just adding more. I hit this. Okay, hold on. Just gonna do that. See if that Wait, moves. Where did I go? <laughs> Sorry, I had to add a new character for Lunar because that Lunar is not working. <laughs> Why are there Leonors in the top corners? I don't. Oh my God. Baka. Want to get into the actual fucking what game? The fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is red. God damn it, Baka. <laughs> Guys, admit it. Who cast Fireball? <laughs> Sorry. 
Baka, Whoa, remove I it. I have two Leonors now? <laughs> what do you mean, two Leonors? Oh god, they just keep multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> I have two there's of one, them, bro. There's one in each cardinal direction. Here, here, here. Bus around it. Yeah, let don't... me just show you my screen. Let me just... Yeah, I don't know what's going on anymore. I just wanted to get this combat started. Fucking... You gave me two of them. Well, it shows up for everyone, yeah. I was gonna have them show up for everyone. But for some oh. reason, you're able to just pull off from all of it, yeah. <laughs> Why are you think more of them? Okay, anyways. Anywho, it's... Sorry, combat didn't start because of technical difficulties. <laughs> My immersion. God damn it. <laughs> I keep saying that my, my token is just a Minecraft god. <laughs> because immersion was so high before it broke. <laughs> Did everybody roll stealth, by the way? I don't know. One, two. Three. No, I did. Four people have rolled stealth. So, one, two, three, four. I think, Biggie, do you want to roll stealth or no? No. No? Okay. Why would I? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. To ambush it. Ambush. No one told me the plan. Yeah, no. I mean, sure, I noticed it's like got there, but I was just going to go in. Go in, hammer. I should not go in. I was just going to wait for you guys to go in. Fact, we also both silent doing it. But I'm mm -hmm. with Biggie on this one. I'm gonna just. I, I kind of want to just roll in. <laughs> one. I, I roll an eight. And, no, I roll a thirteen. There's so. the people that can actually close the distance a lot faster. Can roll stealth. I can. Right. Okay. So with the rolls that we got, immediately with Lud, he kind of puts his hammer over to his uh, to his side, not like on his shoulder wise, but down. The bang literally just goes and then he just goes initiating combat all right so it's okay. initiative then yep which i think you guys already rolled if i'm not mistaken right no no we not yet ask. okay no, no no initiative okay roll it now 10 initiative initiative is just our like decks right yeah so that is a 10 14 for blue. Add 14. Oh, wow. 21. Damn, son. 21. Oh. Yo! Hey, <laughs> yo! That means you go first no matter who's in front of you. Hell yeah. So even if the other guy has a higher. Uh, thing than 23. You still go first. Five. Yep. Seems like it. I mean, okay. you're you're the How ham. You're the hunting horn. Let's be real here. So, I mean, you're just gonna carry and clean up shop after they're done. You got this. I, wa I wonder what Hardy mains. <laughs> I, I main sword and shield. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Didn't you, didn't you say you used to main Hunting Horn too? I mean, I played Hunting Horn, but I didn't main Hunting Horn. Okay. Alright, my bad. No, I it's fine. Of I'm course just... you would play Hunting Horn. <laughs> of, of course you play Hunting Horn. But I didn't play as much as Sword and Shield. Okay, let's see. Roll. 1d20 plus. Five as well! Wow, this creature is not that fast! Um, what's your... You got a negative one? Yeah. It has a... It has a plus two, so it'll go before you. Mm-hmm. Boom. There we go! Wow. There we go. Okay, okay that's turn order. Okay, Grain, how are you going to initiate this? Right, so I might want to actually just... Oh, how, how, how much do I need to close in the distance before I can actually hit it, is the question. Because I need to- I, I uh, want to be as far away from it as possible, while still being able to land hits. Uh, well, let's see. You currently have 75 feet. 
mm. which you should be able to hit it even from where yes, you're standing. Yeah. So oh, okay. let's let's say I let's say I go off sort of. I can actually. Can you what not if, move? if I? Oh, oh sorry. Uh, no. Uh, can I? Can I? Uh, I don't know how this works, but I want to sort of say say I go off a few feet to this sort of up against the side, sort of strafe a little bit. Like over here? Yeah. Yeah. And then and then I want to just uh, hit it with a regular uh, rapid fire. A regular rapid fire? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so you got to move your character over here. If you're yeah, able to. Uh, uh, if I, I am not, I it doesn't react yeah. to me. You have to press Control S. Control S, okay. Control S. Can it also S. allow you. Hello. To... No, it doesn't do it. You want me to move it for you? Yes, please. Right here. I was thinking more sort of up to the right, to like. Like right here. Closer to the... Yeah, that, that's that's good. I think. That's good. Okay. Roll for good. roll for damage. That's, that's, uh, it's just the 68s. Uh, just double checking all its stats real quick. That's two critical failures. <laughs> oh my god. So that's 20 damage overall. Yes. With... Plus percentage, right? Mm hmm Okay. So, uh, what body part were you aiming for? Um, you could choose the head, torso, foreleg, or tail. Ah. Let's go for a headshot. Let's go for a headshot. Let's go. It goes, and then you just go, and just shoot in the head, which pisses it off, and he goes, and just immediately is ready to charge. Claire main, go. All right, uh, so I don't really have anything for range, so I'm just gonna stay hidden and mm -hmm. probably go over. Actually, because he's looking at her, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm probably just gonna move up a little and just hide in these bushes here, or these trees, right. and wait for it to get closer. Okay. Just, just hold my action. Just, just stealth. Holding action. So if this happens, then this happens. So if yeah. So if what, then what? So tell me real quick. Uh, if he passes by me, uh, mm -hmm. I want to uh jump. Is this a tree or is this a bush? That's a bush. By the way. Okay, I want to uh jump out of the bush and attack its uh head if I can. If it's going too fast, I'm going to go for the body. Fair enough. Leonor, go. Alright, um... So, all right, let me measure it. You... Alright, that's as far as I can go with a dash. Yep. Um... R remember that's how many just gonna be an action. What? What do you mean by that? Your dash doesn't have a, how many, t like, a, or a number of turns that it takes to do the full action? Correct? I'm just dashing, I'm not doing the oh, charge oh, attack. Oh, okay, I see. Sorry. Sorry, I got mistaken for a skill. <laughs> My mistake. Continue. Um, Yeah, I'm just gonna approach it. I'm gonna go right there, that's 60 feet. Bop. And that's all I can do. Oh, wow. You duplicated. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What Why the are there two of me? <laughs> no, it's... There were so many of you just stacked upon each other. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. Lud, go. Alright, um, I'm, I'm gonna do the same shit as the fish did. Dash? Okay, you should yeah, be able to move 50 I feet with a dash, yeah. I believe. So, yeah, 50 feet. It's an action to pull out the weapon, correct? Yes, if you didn't already have your weapon pulled out before battle started. Yeah. I mean, I assume we would 
because we're actively hunting. Yeah. Well, unless if you were going for an unsheath attack. Right, yeah. So... Who put another fish on top? Who's doing that? Baka! <laughs> More fish. <laughs> what, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, I deleted the overall. Oh, Leonor's gone. Right, I got you. Yeah. Okay. It's immediately gonna go right, right here for a, for its first out of five strikes. Hold on. It's gonna roll for damage. You just need to reduce it when you get the chance. Yep. Twenty-one. I saw that. Um, right. It rolled uh, so many nat I... ones too. You're so lucky. <laughs> So, I reduce that by... What is my AC? So, it's 6 plus... What the fuck is this window? What the fuck? Go away. <laughs> 6 plus... So, so, I only take 1 damage. Okay. Um... Okay, you take 1 damage, but the rock immediately smacked you across the head, like... <laughs> okay. I immediately use, um, as a reaction, uh, guard attack. Ooh. Okay. That is 3d10, and I already did the math for all of them, that's 3d10 plus Oh six. shit, did you do the full calculation, um, zinc for your percentile, or no? What? No, I, I didn't get that far. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, it was, it was, uh, 20 plus 20% 20 of 20. Mm-hmm. Which should be... Wait. 24. 24, okay. That's what I was trying Wait, to make sure. Oh, so it's the, it's twenty percent of what you roll. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It should every be. every time I've asked you, you've said that. Is it twenty percent of the max? No, no, no. We were using max as an example to make it easier. Why would you use max as the example if that's one? Okay. Well, I won't do plus six then. Um. <laughs> seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> <laughs> that was James with right there. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> All right, um, ninety percent of seven is one point four, so it's seven plus two, which is nine damage. You do nine Which I assume is. <laughs> okay. So I'm I writing. I may write this all well. down onto a document real quick that starts off your guys's combo. So we have a twenty-four for. Uh, grain, we have, uh, 7 plus what to get 9? Alright? Yeah, 7 plus 2. 7 plus 2, so 9. Well, 7 plus 1.4, but we're running about plus 2. So... That... Okay, so we- I'm writing down all the- in, the first parts of your guys' combo, I'll reset it whenever you guys need to reset it. Meaning that you start off your combo with guard attack, keep that in mind, by the way. Why, why don't you just keep that in mind? Well, because you just started it with... That's how you started your combo, so you could continue into it as you get into your next yeah, yeah. turn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but why do I need to... Do I need to know specifically that it was guard attack? Not really, but I just wanted to okay. double check I with misunderstood you. you. Yeah, yeah. All right, no, no you're fine. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. Okay, now it should be... Kassan. Go! Oh, well, it should. Um... God, why am I think so goddamn big? Let me see here. Twenty-five. So, for your rapid shot, it should have taken up three bullets. It should have also elaborated that, so because it's like rapid fire. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So two of you are just vibing in the bush, or...? <laughs> Claire Main, are you also hiding in the bush? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Alright, from here... Uh... Could I do... Uh, swing Recital? From where? 
point where you're about to do your swing recital? Or where I am right now. Where you are right now? You can. Yeah. Um, you can, if you want to do the recital part. The swing part, though, applies damage while you do your recital. If that makes sense. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's the yeah I got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just want to do the recital part of swing recital, correct? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh -huh. Um, go ahead and roll a d6. Ooh! Already? Damn. Mm -hmm. So for that, you guys, for me and for the one around me, so it's. Plus so it's a plus it's 25 percent to attack defense movement speed offense and defensive skills which you guys mm -hmm. don't have defensive skills yet but you do have your overall offensive skills your attacks your ac and your movement and that's applied for five turns mm -hmm. does it apply so to you guys have um or am I in a 30 foot radius so, oh, so yeah. this is only goes for Claire. For two people. <laughs> yes. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Is that? Yes. So your damage got increased by twenty five percent. Awesome. Thank you. And nice. all, everything else. Yeah. So. Defense, movement, all that stuff. stuff. So you you also know your percentile for any of your attacks that also went up by twenty five percent. Ooh, that's not bad. Mm-hmm. So, speaking of, you want to shoot your gun again? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna figure out how to move. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Bird. Oh my god. I'm waiting this for Maud so to just crush You know, I'm just gonna stand here and shoot. Point. Let me just, let me, let me, let me give the, the rapid fire another, another go. Just from here. Okay. Wait, am I gonna hit? Uh, Leonora, or is, or is friendly fire turn? Well, off? depends. If you hit for more like the four legs, possibly the tail or torso, yes. If you go still for the head, you should be fine. Yeah, let's go for the head again. Uh, so it's... You should have aimed for the head. <laughs> you should have aimed for the head. <laughs> so, continuing the combo. 38. Okay. Oh, wow. So... Wait, that's uh, well. That's thirty-eight. All the dice are above average. Yeah, that's, that's forty plus forty-five percent of thirty. Right. Let's see. So that should be. So what? What's your percentile right now? Like your normal one? My normal is twenty. Twenty. So it'll be forty-five. Yeah, exactly forty-five. So thirty. Plus uh, so seventeen point one. So that's eighteen. Eighteen. Right. So thirty-eight plus eighteen. 38 plus. Wait, no. 30, 38. I gotcha. It's 56. Plus 18. Yep. It's 56 plus the previous, which is 24. Yep. Plus 24. So that's 80. It's 24. That is 80. Yep. Perfect. I'm s <laughs> and then. I'm sitting here with my 9 damage. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just hear another. <laughs> and immediately just more bullets go into the head, and it's just pissing it <laughs> off even more, just ah! You're not... Wait, is it actually doing anything, or is it just pissing it off? It, it's getting, like, angrier, but that's the thing. Like, you want it, you want to keep on just firing until you see a bloodied state. Either that, or, like, a, a raw state. If that makes sense. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's not doing nothing. It's, it's, it's not doing nothing, it is doing something. So, right. let's see, 80, I need to type in 80 for your last turn real quick. Hold on, 80, perfect. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm still not close enough to do anything, but since the other two are up there, I'm gonna move bushes to this one up here. Okay. And that's about nearly all my movements be, so I guess I'll just hold my action here and just same thing. Very well. Wait, where did... Oh, right, I removed the fish off of freaking turn order. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Not the fish. Not the fish. I'm dead. 
dead as hell. Was that a 14, if I'm not mistaken, for your... your no, name? I had... An, yeah, a 14. Yeah. Mm, yoink. There. Okay, go. Alright, well, um... I'm going to do a, a forward stab, then. Forward stab, go! <laughs> yes. Yeah! Okay, so, slash R... So, another seven? Seven! <laughs> Ten. That's <laughs> okay. That's something. <laughs> that's that's more than seven. So sixteen. Sixteen times point twenty three is uh three point sixty eight. So close. So sixteen plus four is twenty. Plus the nine from last round is twenty nine damage. You forward stab it. Uh, where were you aiming for the way? Head, torso, foreleg, or tail? Do I what? Uh, do I, like, gather w what would do happen, like, what difference does it make? Well, you're, if you want to chip off certain parts of its body to get the materials, which is one of the only ways that you can do it, you have to attack certain right. parts. For instance, going for the head can get some parts of the beak or plumage. Okay, well, everyone else is going for the head, so I'll just help them with that. Okay. Um, and I also goes for head. So 29 okay. damage to the head. And then, okay. do I move? Do I want to move? You can, but you might also engage in an opportunity attack. Exactly. Um, if I take an opportunity attack, but I reduce the damage to zero, then that doesn't reset my combo, right? If, it, if you take zero damage, it doesn't reset. If you take any damage, it resets. Got it. Um... Well, I mean, if I'm standing here, it's gonna hit me anyway. <laughs> so, Fair enough. <laughs> I can, um, You're taking front lines. Oh, like, wait. Quite literally. It's, it's a new turn, so I might as well actually do it this way. I'm gonna move here. Oh my there's god, there's another me. fish. <laughs> oh, there's still another fish. Damn it. Goddamn. There's. Okay. okay, so it attacks me again, right? Yeah. In Guarding my... attack. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's. Do I get that off before they attack me, or how does that work? Well, let's see what they attack first before you go into that. So, it, it plunges down with its beak to try to peck you as you try to go away, which is 30 damage. Okay. So, that resets it. Mm -hmm. However, you did um... do guarding attack, which then you could go again. Smash R... 3d10. So, I've resetting your there. combo real quick. Okay, so I wasn't able to get that off before it attacks me. Right. But... Okay. Um, 18. 18. Okay. 18 times what? 2, that's... 3.6. So, 18 plus 4, that's 22 damage. 22. Okay, you even though your combo got resetted by from 29 to 22, that's just seven damage off, so you should be fine. That's better than yeah, nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna. So I've used five, ten, fifteen, twenty, hmm? twenty-five, and let's do uh, thirty. Actually, wait. He's a, wait. There is more people closer to um, our bushmaster. Right. Also, by the way, I almost forgot. So, not only you guys do combos, but the monster would have been able to do a combo. So that's twenty-one plus thirty. So that's actually fifty-one. Well, it's just one combo was broken because we oh. shot it a bunch of times. Oh wait, fair and enough. I no, fair it enough. Too. So it would be thirty. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. Sorry, my mistake. My mistake. Well, there's, that's all the temp HP gone then. Fair enough. Go, Lud. You got this. Baka. Baka's gone. He dead. Oh, he dead. Rip. 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 He's muted as well. Baka. I mean, we can guess what he's gonna do. My bad. My bad. I I I forgot I was muted. I guess what I'm gonna do, bitch. <laughs> well, I don't know. You it's have several different time. skills that you can do for hammer time. Yeah. 
What are you gonna do? Alright. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna do a charge attack. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Actually, what's the difference between a powered and a regular charge attack? I mean, double check more damage. I do know that I have the certain notes for that. Hold on. Pulling it up right now. Hammer. There it is. So, the charge attack and enhanced charge attack. The enhanced charge attack gives you a bit more of a percentile than the charge attack. However, the enhanced one takes one additional turn. What? The powered one? The enhanced one? Oh, no, or the finisher? No, just the the enhanced one. Because they both say three turns. They both say? Oh! Okay. Sorry. It, I think it's just a percentile difference, I guess. Because you're enhancing okay, the damage. Fuck it. Powered. Okay. So, with that in mind, your first turn is positioning and making sure that the creature is not going to just hit you immediately. So position yourself real quick. How far can I go when I'm charging it? 20 feet. So you can't get out of 20 feet of range. But you also want to try to predict how it's going to move and trying to aim for it still and hit. Because this game, again, is based off of strategy and positioning. Just going to go Um, yeah. Okay, I want to go... Here. Wait, was it here? Fuck. So it's here. There. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So your position. Okay. Okay. So with that in mind, chicken brain over here. It has not finished its attack with uh, the fish lady yet, so it's just gonna walk over, pissed with the chick, the fish lady, and immediately a tail swipe. So rolling. Oh, this, that should be twenty-two. All right, so I take two damage. So you take that, but then I don't think... Reset my combo. Yeah, it resets your combo, but the from what I remember, because of your guard attack, it resetted its combo, so it is just 22, which then yeah. reduces it down to 2. Okay. So let me pull up your thing real quick, and that reset your combo. Okay. Perfect. Now we just go to Kassin again. Kassin, what do you like to do? Uh, give me a sec. No worries. Uh, I'm trying to... Right... Here? That would reach uh, right. Laud, which would do additional more damage, including with an enhanced uh, charge attack. Or a powered cool. uh, charge attack. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so how does a... So for you, because you started your combo technically already with the uh, res with one of your swing recitals, you can mm -hmm. use your if you're thinking about using your finisher, you can use it now. Oh, I could go straight into a finisher, but you only get the one per turn uh, per combat scene. If that makes sense. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. But basically, what about empowered it, swing recital? Empowered swing recital? I think you could do that. Because no, I yeah, think the only difference. Yeah, I think the only difference between that and the normal swing recital is that the empowered yeah. one, I believe, has the uh, additional percentile to it. So, like, better percentile. Uh, no, empowered swing recital just actually uh, lasts longer in terms of it lasts turns. Lasts longer, too, yeah. Um, but it gives the same percentiles. 
Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, you said that this, these recitals can stack over each other. True. Fair enough. Okay. So they can't, they can't stack on top of themselves, then, I assume. So you can't I, do two empowered swing recitals in a row and have them stack. I think it just or, resets the swing recital uh, as buff I see. if I do that. Okay. Right. So, so instead of resetting, yeah. he's trying to use another st uh, boost instead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's actually going to boost not only Green and Clearmane again, but give Lod some actual additional damage when he goes in for the charge. That's if I give the right boost. Also, if it also matters if uh, by any chance Lorne or Leonor can actually push the unit into the attack because right now it's five feet out of range. I, I have no pushing moves. Okay, so I around. got a five, so that's fifteen percent of defensive skills. Which I mean, that's pretty good. Make you, sure that they don't, don't have me. Oh wait, wait does yeah. reducing damage with AC count as defensive skill? Sadly, not the ten percent defense okay. though. It does. That increases AC. But okay. the defensive skill, because you guys don't have your armor, like new armor sets yet, it's not gonna work. Got it. Grain, does go. it not oh, wait. apply yes, to uh, like lancers? I wanna move like Lancers? As in like the uh like for like people who have like lance and shield or something like that. Oh, your guard attack. That's right. That would go for that. But he wasn't in the proximity, I don't believe. No. no, but I was just saying. Yeah, I think it goes for his guard attack, actually. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that, Grain. Go ahead. Oh, no, it's alright. Uh, could you could you move me, like, up, up here? Leave it right there for a second. Boom. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Now I have a clear shot, actually. I, I'm not... Uh, Do you want to try to gonna, get more of get that? Another body part. Oh, yeah, a different body part. Okay. I didn't know if yeah, you wanted I to continue that HP bar lowering it on the head, because once it goes down, down, you get a material out of it. Actually, no. Let's keep. Let's keep going. I have. I still have my combo active. Yeah, that combo is gonna be worth. And now knowing yes. that the beast is actually close by to uh, Leonor, I think Claire Main can actually just go in and strike. When it gets so I know I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going on, okay. on the head with the AD combo uh, and a, and another rapid fire. So. Another rapid fire, gotcha. Yeah. That's twenty four. That's twenty four. Okay. So that is twenty four by forty five percent. To five. Five plus twenty four. Twenty nine. 29 plus 80. 109. 109. Holy shit. <laughs> it's not going terribly. I'm here with my 20s and you shoot. <laughs> you shoot the head one more time as you see that a chunk of beak flies and flings off to the side as it goes... Ah! Oh dear. From that, the beast <laughs> does fall down and for two turns it's stunned. Ooh, okay. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. So, okay. with that in mind... Go team! Yeah, go team! Go team! Go team! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Claremain, go. Go, go, go! Uh, so, seeing that it's done, it, it, it's done for two turns. Uh, By I want to do my... Oh, go ahead. What? Sorry, I was going to oh, yeah, say would... something, but go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do my Archdemon Dash. Ooh. And so my arch demon dash, I basically have to dash up to it and then do the damage, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's a one turn setup. So do I stay here or do I go up to it first? So with arch demon dash, if I look at your thing right, so tank arch demon dash. So Archdemon Dash is basically going to be, um, you go in your first turn, right? And if yeah. you make it on your first turn, it applies damage. And then your second one would apply damage and then bleed. Okay. So, 
You'll have to connect both, basically, to apply All the right. most damage. All which right. you should I'll, I'll be able that. to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should definitely apply. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So I'll do that. Huh? And then... Okay, so for my first thing, I'd roll 66. 66. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow. Do I get any bonuses from being in stealth too? Or... Well, it should be down, so uh, apply the percentile that you have with the boost that you also got, which is that you should have an additional 25% added to your percentile of Arcane Demon Dash. So that's 27 plus yeah. 25. So oh, that is... 52? 52, yeah. No, is that an uh, offensive skill or an attack? The Demon Dash. The Demon Dash should be an offensive skill. But so he, when did he get a 25 for that and the 25 for the attack? Yeah. Oh, that would have made sense. Which I'm reapplying that for the last uh, yeah, stuff too. So that is actually going to be 114 for grain then. Okay. So 114? That's a, that was actually 114 for grain. Because like Biggie said... It's not just the offensive skill, it's also the attack. So, oh. she actually applied more damage because of the attack. So, mm -hmm. what? so you're at 114. Okay, the offensive skill percentile, right? Then when you finalize your attack, you get 25% additional to that. Oh. Because oh. it goes for both offensive skills and attacks. Oh, we were still applying that previous buff. Yeah, so I already did that. You should be at 114 instead. 114? Yeah. Percent okay. or damage? Damage overall. Okay, I'm like, percent? No, 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 no. If anything, what we'll be discussing, though, is that if you actually used your finisher, or if you get to use your finisher, that's yeah. 52 plus 70%. I am definitely considering it. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's just disgusting. Anyways. On my next turn, I have to, like, finish my demon dash, though, and then I can use it. Right. Okay, so what's your damage okay. right now? 26, correct? So 26 uh, yes. uh, times 0.52. So that's 13.52, which rounded up is 14. So 26 plus 14 should just be 40. But then we multiply that by 0.25, which is 10. So that's actually 50. You did 50. Now I need to apply okay. the bleed for that, which should just, so let's see, 50, and then the bleed, which it needs to roll a DC of your armor being 12, correct? Yes. Not one! Oh my god! <laughs> and then it has, it Yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 that is good. So it bleeds out for an additional three damage. Okay. Okay. Well, which actually continues that combo because that goes into 53 damage. Okay. Boom. Oh. Let's go. Okay. That was actually big brain. Okay. Leonora, go. Okay. So I could either attack it or can I use my action to shove it five feet closer to Lud so he can hit his uh, charge attack? I will allow it if you use an, um, if you use your guard attack because it's a new turn. So like, use your shield to push. So like a shield bash. I'll allow that. Flavor okay. texting. Oh, so that it'll, it'll deal damage as well. Yeah. So I'm flavor texting oh. it for you. Oh, sweet. All right. For this situation, because um, I want bit. I, I was want Baku to get some action. I was so. prepared to do nothing there. No, you're good. Um. Okay. So. The, I keep forgetting, so it's 3d10 and 20%, so, mm -hmm. slash r 3d10, 20, okay, um, uh, 20 times 0.2, oh, I, I died 0 times 2.2 for some reason, oh, what the fuck, uh, <laughs> so 24 damage, did I have a, have a combo going? No, you didn't. Okay, right, so just 24 damage, and I shove it five feet closer to our wavy boy. Okay. Okay, so 24 damage. Let me write that down. Okay, Lud. Go in. You got this. 
Alright, what do you want me to do? Just roll the damage, or do you want me to... Roll the damage, because you're about to connect, and then you get to swing again. Ah, on your next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... 4d20. Uh, 28. 28, uh, okay. 53%. 53%, you said? Uh, 32. Oh, 32, sorry. Uh, so... But then he have the, uh... The buff Oh, yeah, well. plus the 25% from Biggie. Right. Well, actually... You only got the, if I'm not mistaken, you were only in the um, defensive skill one. Uh, wait, do I, do I get the plus 25 for the guard to stack then? Uh, for defensive? Yeah. Were you in the circle? I don't think so. But, hey, big time. Did you, was he in the circle? <laughs> Which for, one came put him out? For the imp. For. Okay. Was he in the circle for your defensive no. one? No. Okay. No. Uh, uh, this one, Baka, and then this one is was in the def. Oh, so Grain and Lawn. Then they went for the defensive. Yeah. Okay, Grain, Lawn, and Claire. Okay. So that is twenty-eight, and then thirty-two percent, which that would be nine. So twenty-eight plus nine is going to be thirty-seven. Where did you aim, by the way? Uh, I'm aiming for its body. Body. Okay. Yeah. I'm cracking ribs out here. Hell yeah. Oh yeah? That's 37. Okay, so your combo starts Laud with a 37? Cup. Okay. And the monster has to spend one turn stunned and squirming. So, Kassin, it is your turn. Okay, so if I move right here, five feet. What is Talib doing by the way? Yeah, he's just watching us. He's observing and making sure that he could write out any critical weak points as well as the biology of this creature and how it acts. So he's Sorry. observing and making sure that he documents this fight for future fights. Okay, technically I could get y'all three again. Barely... Barely this one. And I'm gonna reset the buff for the. Can I can I redo empowered uh, swing recital? Yeah, you could uh, you could reset it. Yes. With a new buff. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll another d6. I just love the fact that he, it's the same one. I I love the <laughs> fact 15%. that fifteen percent. Yeah, I love the fact that you're not like offensively going in, but you're just swinging your horn just for the fun of it and just going. Brrr, brrr, brrr. Just Tell playing the music. Cry. I love it. Um, so it's another five, so it's another um defensive. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. So with that so, oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, so it just it goes back to ten turns of uh fifteen percent defensive skill, correct? Yeah. Okay. Basically. Okay. So Grain, go ahead and continue your combo, cause you weakened its head, so it right now its head is bloodied, but the rest of its body is still getting bruised in. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm thinking of how I could move here because I want a good line of sight, or maybe I have that already. It's a little bit. It's a bit tight, but like, right. do we do we count this as like full line of sight where I'm standing now, or I would is it like blocked? Somehow? I would say it's semi. So like, because of the because you got to take into consideration the size of Wad. Mm, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Long more like wog, which is fucking why. <laughs> <laughs> so if I if I but like if I if okay. Say I go say I go over here, right? Yeah. 
And then if you work. move over there, you should have line of sight. Yeah, you have line of sight. Yes. Okay. Okay. So do I? Let's let's actually um, let's do uh, a, um, what buffs do I have? Do I still have the? You the should have 25? the twenty-five still, and and your defensive skill got reset. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't have that many defensive skills that I use for right now, so. Right. Uh, I, I want to save my finish uh, just in case. Uh, so let's do. Let's do. Let's try a. No, this this needs to charge. Let's let's go rapid fire again. Let's go rapid fire. By the way, this was an intermediate. You guys are doing well. Uh, yeah, we should have gone with the hard one. <laughs> Which means we can do the hard one as well. Come on. Oh, that's think true. Bigger. Yeah, we'll do both. No, yeah, because I think both. only one of you guys got injured, right? And even then, I've, I'm used the up only your one that's been injured. Yeah. <laughs> even though it yeah. also used up your temp HP as well, not like your actual HP HP. I've yeah. in terms of HP HP, I've only dropped three HP. Hmm. So that's uh, that's still a forty-five percentage, right? So that's a nineteen plus a nine. Or some of that bug juice when we need it, right? Yeah, green bug juice. <laughs> Nine. If, I've, if I've done the math correctly, it should be 137 damage. Oh my God. <laughs> Feel free to check my math, please. I might have done. Okay, so that. you got the 19 plus plus the 45 percent, which is nine, which is, should be 28. And then what else? And plus the 109 from the combo. Oh, right. 114. Uh, so 114 plus oh, the 28. So that is 142, but then you take, but you, then you take times 0.25 of that and add that up, which is 36. So that is 142 plus 36, and that is 178. 178. Oh dear God. Okay. <laughs> it is completely bloodied. It's a. It, it's on its last legs. <laughs> Do your worst, guys. Go go go. All right. So I'm on my second hit of my combo, right? Yeah, as you see three gunsh fires go into like the more of the body as parts start flying here and there. Okay. Uh so I have to roll sixty-six. It, it's it's just the same as before, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. There you go. Alright. And then you apply more bleed, so okay, first off, calculate the 15 real quick for your offensive yep. skill so that is 45 uh 15 oh, oh wait no 52 52 52 52 times 0. 0.52 uh wait did i do that right 15 times 0. 0.52 yeah times 0. 0.52 oh yeah okay so that's eight that's eight so 15 plus eight is 23 okay. 23 Okay. And then I gotta do the bleed damage. Bleed damage, which that is going to be an additional four damage. So that is 27. Okay. Which then it needs to reroll for another, see if it can survive another one for if it stacks the bleed or not. It does not succeed, so it gets the bleed out again. So it deals another one damage. So that is oh my god, twenty-eight. Oh. Sorry, my house. Holy fire alarm! Yeah, fire alarm. <laughs> Something's burning. Yeah, that always it, happens on this house. It's what tank is cooking. That's what's burning. <laughs> <laughs> thirty-one. Oh, no. Then that's the thirty-one plus your fifty-three. So then 31 plus 53 is going to be 84, but then we times that by 0.25, which is 21. And then 84 plus 21 is going to be 105. Oh my. Damn. All right. As more it parts and tears come out of the creature. Just... Oh, me and, me and the gang brutalizing a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the gang like pulling off a Kelvin moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me and the gang recreating breakfast. <laughs> Leonor is like, 
What? That? Why are you beating up that bird? That's inhumane. What are you doing to this bird? <laughs> hey man, like I, I like this, like. Yeah, no, I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Leonor, go ahead. What are you right, doing? um, it's still stunned, right? Yeah, it's still stunned. Okay. Um. So if I were to do my finisher, that's three. Um, because if I understood right, right yeah. the head is bloodied right now. So the head's bloodied because of um, actually because yeah, of Claire, blind, the but... body's bloodied. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's only so the four legs and more the damage? tail. Yeah. Do so we you... deal more damage to bloodied? places that or... means that most of the hp has gone out of that place so you wailing on that part n would get you more materials but it might not get you more hp off does that make sense it. mm -hmm. it's yeah. more for grinding out materials do we want more material guys yeah no we don't have anything right now yeah all right let's All let's materials. make this let's make this death slow and painful then this cold turkey <laughs> looking at us thinking to itself like these guys um, are the true monsters here. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> i'm Mon just yeah, naturally in my horrible. habitat there's these guys running up on me beating the shit on me i didn't do nothing i we're fucking <laughs> All I did was instinctively waffle, killed some of your kind, and now you come back okay. and just mollywop me. What the fuck? <laughs> so if I do, if I do upward stab, that raises me five feet into the air. Well, Why did I say it like attack. that? Five. Ear. Yeah, five feet into the air, and then what? Well, I don't know. I mean, and then I'm in the air for like a little Any bit ear? until you go into your next turn, but you can't go, like, too high up, as we talked about. So. Alright, but it, it can still hit me while I'm in the air. Right, but it out. is stunned, so, I mean, it's it's going to be getting up after its turn is over this round, so. Right, yeah, I don't want to be in the air, I, I'll do the forward stab. Okay. Um, <laughs> towards the body, I guess. Okay. Get this is more bloody too. So, yeah. Slash R 3D 10. 16 times. So 16 times 0.23 is mm -hmm. 3.68, which is 4, so 20. Uh, plus the 24 from last. It's 24, right? Uh, last combo that you did was 24, yes. Yeah, so 20 plus 24, that's 44. 44? Okay, so you should be at 44 damage. Oh my god. And then I'm going to move 5, 10, 15 feet over here. Okay. Hey, uh, Baka, how you wanna, you wanna just wail on it a little bit more? Yeah, so uh, I got one more hit. Mm -hmm. um, can I change what target I'm aiming for? Uh, body part wise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you could go for. Right. Well, the ones that have some HP still, by how it looks, would be the four, the four legs, and then the uh, tail. Okay. I'm gonna bash its neck in. Oh, I mean, that goes for the head that has no HP, but yeah, go ahead. Oh, wait, that's, the neck still counts as the head? Yeah, apparently in this game. Oh. I wish that that wasn't the case, yeah. but it. it the only body parts that are in the case is that it goes mechanically wise uh the head torso four leg and tail mechanically wise so if you hit the neck it counts as the head i'll hit a leg you had a leg okay brick its legs it cannot run from us now or 47 yeah. plus 32 <laughs> Plus 32, okay, let's see, okay. so that's 40, oh my god, you rolled high this time round, brother, let's go, yeah. 47 uh, times, you said, what percent, 32? 32%. Okay, so that's 15, which goes up to 16, so then that's 47 plus 16, which is 63, but then your combo last time was 37, so plus 
37. You get a hundred immediately. That's a that's a straight hundred right there. Hundred yeah. damage. As you hear a crunch of the leg underneath the power of the hell like the hammer, as it just screams out one last scream. So out of people nearby, who wants to finish the creature? Because it's it's dead. It's basically dead. Who, who wants to do the finisher? Like, like, finish off the creature. Kill it. Blue, I just uh, with Baka or Tank? I'm gonna let you outside. Uh, like whoever rolls higher. Like, whoever Baca. rolls higher. Whoever everyone, rolls higher. Everyone, everyone roll a 1d20, I guess. See who gets to do the finish, like a finishing move. It's everyone roll? Well, no. The, just the three that are nearby, because okay. right now it's like all in melee area. So, um, I guess, hey, Lob, how you want to kill him after breaking his leg? Okay, so he's all. This is just me, like, you know, how I kill him, right? Like, it's not to take any more HP. Yeah, it's gonna. You just wail on it. Okay, yeah, I take my hammer down and I squish its skull apart. You, all right. And this is just flavor texting, by the way. This doesn't have any mechanics because it was. It, it's HP is gone, gone. You just go yeah. whoop, whoop, pfft, with this, the, with the rest of the beak popping off as the skull goes down. The plumage goes off, bloodied, and the rest of the piece is just, pfft, and then it twitches a bit before it goes pfft, dead. Yeah. Hold on. All right. I got this. No, not that. I actually got something for that. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go. Is it playing? It, it already played. No shit. What? Wasn't it? It was like two seconds long, right? No. What? Oh no, it's supposed to be like 16 minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh wait, it's not playing it. No. There we go. Yo! Yo! Yeah! Yay! Yay! And with that in mind, all right, when we come back next time, we will see what's down to the southeast and what is possibly in going to be a threat that will endanger our camp. Will our adventurers be able to get through it, as this intermediate seemed like no challenge, or will they die trying? Keep on adventuring out there, my fellow gamers, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>